The left hand one was your kind of before, your right hand one was one of your after swing you made, okay, which is a yeah. better movement in general, okay? Now, we discussed this at the end there about your setup in terms of your grip pressure. Yeah. Most people grip on for dear life. When yeah, I stand to the side it. kind of here and try and move that club there, it's like I'm trying to lift yeah. like a really heavy or lift a club underwater or move it through yeah. quicksand. It's, it's just so stiff and locked. And if people are getting that way through the sitting area, there's no speed. Yeah. We want speed. We want club head to go through there quick. It's got to be loose and snappy in some ways, okay? Okay. And loosen that grip pressure setup will make a big difference, okay? Yeah. In terms of the swing, we focus predominantly on your hips. Now, on the way back, your hips didn't really move back that far, and your arms kind of sort of moved across your torso. So you, your legs haven't moved at all there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So haven't really moved, and now your back is a little bit sort of static here, and that's as far back as you kind of go. This one here now, we allowed a bit of body turn to go together. Left hip starting to move a little bit there. Yeah. Much further your back swing is. Okay, yeah, so yeah. That, that shoulder now is it moving 90 degrees. Exactly, and that's the thing. And for me, for making a goal swing repeatable, consistent, and number one, probably healthy. Yeah, yeah. If you want to play golf maybe once a week, if you're playing golf the next day, you're going, oh, popping pills at yeah, your race. Yeah. It's no good, is it? No. Yeah, and I was happy old or yeah. having issues there and stuff. So, in terms of that movement now from here, once you've rotated your hips backwards, there's a slide towards your left side. Now, again, you can slide too much or not slide at all. Yeah. Okay, you want to try and move over to that left foot, okay, as you start coming down. So this one here now we can see... As you start coming back, the left hip moving towards that left side. Yeah. Arms are dropping down nicely. Nice and almost heavy with the arms and loose, so we're getting the speed. Get back into a good impact position there now. Left arm, club, left leg all in line. Good yeah. strike. And then twist through to a fairly good kind of yeah. balance follow through on the left side. Okay. If we're a little bit kind of trying to move here now, no real move with that left hip. Okay. More sort of pivoting and spinning back here. Now you can see your yeah. body now is behind the ball when you're in the golf ball. Your club's going to bottom up early. Yeah. As you come through now, head's 10 down an awful <laughs> long time. That's going to put stress on your back as well. Yeah. I mean, look at your right foot there. There's no real, I'm going to get off my no, right foot. There, you can't. I mean, look at that. Yeah, Just yeah. look at those two there. Yeah. I'm sure you watch golf on TV. If you watch the Masters, I think that looks like right something now. more like Justin Rose. That looks more like, I don't know, someone else, Axel Rose. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So if we can get that body rotating yeah. better, I and mean, that just looks like it's a really awkward, like, stiff, like a yeah. heavy trying to lift the golf club. Whereas that is actually a fuller, freer movement. Yeah. A lot of that will just come from allowing your body to move when you're looser. If you're squeezing on for dear life, yeah. you've got a chance, okay? So loosen that grip pressure up, okay? Get the body moving. Some of the drills we discussed, I'll just try and draw them on if it reminds me in this video, you can have them as a, a backup, okay? So if you set up with one of those alignment sticks through a belt loop, yeah. okay? Equal side, both side of you. Okay, yeah. most of them are back sort of this sort of two meter wide apart. Okay, so and put a device about one foot behind your feet, sort of sticking yeah. up here. That could be a brolly in the ground or anything in the ground. Stay another, another stick if you wanted to. And what you're going to try and do is you turn back. Obviously, you'd see your hips then rotate. Yeah. As you start bringing the golf club back down, you want this stick then to kind of connect with the stick behind you. Yeah. And we use a wall there. You do this and just dink into the wall, whatever it may be, hitting the wall here. Okay. Whatever it may be, just get that sensation. Your body is moving laterally and clearing, so you then extend through, okay? Yeah. It's not trying to slide the knees or transfer your weight to the lower half, as you said before you were trying to do. Yeah. Get that lower half moving to the left. Yeah. And then when it gets to the sort of left side, then it just clears and pops around out the way. So your left leg kind of extends, that kind of extension through the golf ball, yeah? yeah. You want to keep our posture and stay down or keep your head down for any length of time, yeah. you're going to hurt yourself, okay? Yeah. Does that kind of make sense yeah, in, in a nutshell? Yeah. So. Oh, we honestly, it's a little bit there to try and take in, I guess, obviously, with the, the hip movement, okay? Build it up piece by piece, okay? It's like a 200 meter race. You've got to start, the middle, and the end, don't you? Yeah, don't yeah, try yeah. and do too much in one go. Work on a certain area. Work on the back so you get that lower half working better, and then work on the slide. Again, doing that stuff, brushing your teeth. Just stand there. Slide, turn. Yeah. Slide, turn. Slide, turn. Get that just repetition, repetition, repetition. Right. It'll just become more effective over time. Right. Okay, mate? Yeah, no Good stuff, yeah. right?